Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will take a look at the latest update to Samsung's Quick Share. Now, Samsung's Quick Share right here now has two tabs. If you already had this version right here on your phone, you will also get this update over here for the Quick Share connectivity and the Quick Share agent. So you'll just have a better connectivity and services and everything when it comes down to you using Quick Share. Now, if you had the older version of Quick Share, this is the update. And this is what will give you this brand new version here where when you open up your quick share, you will have both of those tabs. You can either receive or you can send. And what makes it easy is that right here within the send tab, it has select files built in. So you wouldn't have to go into your gallery to send something. Now in the past, the version before this one, yeah, you would have to go into your gallery, tap on whatever you would like to send off. And let's say that this is it. You tap on the share button and then you tap on quick share. And then this is the tab that you would get into. This is what the older version looked like as well. Now, what's cool about this is that you don't have to send it to somebody right next to you. You can send this image or video or document and however many pictures and videos and documents that you want, you can do it via a link or even a QR code. So if somebody's next to you and they don't have quick share, they can just scan a QR code and then they can actually just download the files you would like to send. And also, if you want to send this image or video to somebody else, you know, in a different state or even across the country, here is the copy link. Once you copy this link, this now is being uploaded into Samsung's cloud. So then you're able to send that link to somebody. They're able to get any file that you attach. Now, here's the thing. You can see right up over here that this one was uploaded. Uh, this link that you have created, it lasts for two days and 13 hours. So whoever you would like to share the stuff with has just a couple days to open it up and download it and have it. So here it is. You just tap on this little image and then they will have an option that they're able to download this and save it to their phone. Now, some people forget that there is more to Samsung Quick Share than just this page right here. Now, when you open up Quick Share on the top right hand side, you have more settings. And with these settings up over here, this is where you can see all of your link sharing history. And you can see that you can share 10 gigs. And remember, when it comes down to this one here, uh, all of these will expire and then, then basically be deleted uh, within those two days and 13 hours. Meaning that once you have shared, let's say maybe 10 gigs with somebody and all of this is now gone, then you can share more. So there is just a lot more that you can do. You have your link sharing, so you can share anything across the state, across the country, across the world, whatever. Uh, they don't have to be directly next to you. Now let's go over here to this phone and let's just get this one updated because I wanted to share with you that there was uh, related applications going along with it. Because if you had the older version, now you have the new one and along with all of the, the services to make it work better. If you already had this newer version, I'm just letting you know that you are now having a updated quick share with a better experience. Now I noticed all of these ones sitting in there just the other day. So all of this was launched. Uh, let's see here. It was just launched the other day on September 16th. So this is where you can see the quick share connectivity, the Samsung quick share, all this stuff. There's different variants. So this was when everything was updated and it was just yesterday when all of this popped out. And you can see here, it looks like that there's even more stuff that is coming out that has been updated. So you're seeing, you know, maybe a newer version of Samsung keyboard, Samsung one hand operation plus, and also Bixby voice. So I'm kind of curious, let's say that we go right over inside of our Samsung Galaxy store and let's see if there's any updates that is sitting there. Now, more than likely, it's going to be everything that we just got done seeing on that last page. There's a Samsung keyboard. I also saw, saw a Samsung checkout that was below that just a little bit more. Uh, you have an expert raw update, Samsung notes update, which I saw that on the last page as well. So I'm going to go through and update all of these ones just so then they're off my page. So what is new specifically for Samsung Quick Share? Well, it's stated right here. It provides a receiving mode in Quick Share for quick and easy file transfers, provides a sending mode for selecting and sharing files in Quick Share. When resending files after something goes wrong with file transfers or they are canceled, only the unsent files will be sent. They increase the character limit for device names to make uh, devices you know, identification easier and supports file transfers using quick share in nearby devices. So if you're using the service of nearby devices, uh, quick share is working with that. Now it's stated that you can add in more characters to your name. How about we go inside of our quick share right now? My name is just a uh, Jimmy's S 25 ultra. And then on the very top, you just go right here for phone name. 
So I'm going to hit on space and I'm going to see how many more characters we have. So it looks as if you'd be able to have a quite a long name uh, if you needed to specifically make sure that yours stood out from other people. So now how about we go over and we just do an example of what I'm able to do when it comes down to quick share. So I want to send something. So I'm going to go right over there. I'm going to select some files. And I guess what I'll do is I'm going to do just, you know, whatever I see here, uh, a bunch of different images. I'm also going to go to videos. So there's a bunch there. So I'm going to hit on OK. So I'm selecting 23 files, which is 6.82 uh, gigs. And I'm going to send this one over to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which is right over here. And then this is where you're able to see in real time how long it'll take to transfer over 6.8 gigs, which is very close to 7. Now, as this one is almost complete, it looks like it's taken about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes max to send over right around seven gigs. If you're trying to find a device and you can't find the device you're looking for, tap there, and then this will give you some steps in order to find that device. And there we go. We have everything all sent off. 19 images and four videos was received from Jimmy's Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it finished before it turned 1058. I believe when I sent everything over, it was 10.56, so I'm going to say it was about a minute and a half, maybe a minute 45 seconds to send all of this right here, 19 uh, images, 4 videos, which was right around 7 gigs. Now, if you again have any issues when it comes down to receiving any of this stuff, you just go right over here, open up your quick share, and underneath receive, you can just go to your settings, and then this is where you can have some of those settings for receiving. So you can have it to where everybody can see you maybe for only 10 minutes or everybody can see you always maybe you only want to have contacts only or no one that just means that my devices will share with each other so this one's set up to no one this one was on contacts only so if you want to send it to yourself you can do it easily with the option of no one so probably what might work for you is just go over to your contacts only but if you're meeting somebody and you don't have their phone number just switch it over to everyone turn it on for just like 10 minutes hit done and that's it and then you're gonna show up uh, right over here on where you're able to send it to now that was really everything i wanted to share in today's video i want to let you know that there is a newer version of samsung quick share if you had the older version you know you now have this newest one if you already had this newest version here with the two tabs, you now have better connectivity and a few additional added features that we just got done reading of what was new. Again, selecting files is right here. It's embedded inside of the quick share. You have your images, videos, docs, and others that you're able to do. And you also saw how fast it went. Switching over basically seven gigs took less than two minutes. And also you have your link sharing. So this way you'd be able to share something with somebody else, maybe they don't have a Samsung phone, maybe they're not in the same state or country, you're just able to upload it via Samsung's cloud, and then you just have it right here. You can always go back in and you can uh, you know, uh, share the link again or copy the link, or if you are done with this, they have everything they need, uh, you can just stop sharing. So now this one is now done and you're not sharing it with anyone anymore, or you can just wait for it to expire. But that is everything I wanted to share in today's video. If you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.